Alright, yo dudes and dudettes, my name is Speedak for DXA, but you can call me Speed for short, and I'm back with my Metroid 2, the Return of Samus walkthrough. So, in the last part, we got through some catacombs, and we took down six more Metroids, and in this part, we're gonna take down... Well, I don't, I can't really say what we're, like, how many Metroids we're gonna take down, because I know we're gonna get through at least three for sure. Ow. You see this area? This hallway right here? I... I... Ugh. You know what, it's fine. But, so, in this episode we're gonna get through at least three more Metroids. Hopefully I'll get to the next Chozo City. Or at least I think it's called the Chozo City. Like, those areas with, like, tons of stuff in them. Oh, gosh. You see, these things are much more troublesome than those little leaf people from, like, the beginning of the game. Like, these... Like, they serve no purpose except to make your life harder. Well, actually, they serve the purpose of, well, for me, I can get energy off of them. Alright. That was weird. Everything just jerked to the l Oh, I pulled the charger. That's what happened, never mind. Alright, so right here you've got another Gamma Metroid. I found out the best way to take these guys down is to just get on the ledge and shoot. Thankfully, each Gamma Metroid seems to be conveniently placed near a ledge. I don't know why. Also, another really good way to beat them is to, like... Like, what you can do is you can get under a platform, and you can just, like, shoot them with your missiles from below. It's actually really, really easy. Alright, so, I actually just now, I went ahead and checked my data management thing, and my files were like all full, because that last video, of course, you know, a video in HD takes up a lot of space, so that last video took up 0.9 something gigabytes, and I don't have that much storage on my cow, just, it, just pretend like I didn't say that just now. But, so the videos probably aren't going to go the full 15 minutes. Well, technically, I can upload for longer than 15 minutes, but still. So I'm going to say maybe like 13 minutes or until I'm out of film. Well, it's not really film, well, until I'm out of space. We'll be coming back there in just a moment. So now we've got a backtrack. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm just gonna record until I run out of film. Or until I run out of space. Then I'll just upload the stuff to my computer, then I'll come back and record part nine. Cause I know where I want to stop. Like I know. Like, I have an idea of what I'm going to do. 
I'm gonna stop like right before we get to the last Omega Metroids. Cause there's only four Omega Metroids and three of them are within the same like area. Like the the three of them will trigger the same earthquake. So I'm gonna go to the area where they are and I'm gonna stop right before I fight the first one. That's kinda what I plan I planned. Alright, this next area is a really useful area. You can... Oh. Come on, come back over here. Alright. These are also some troublesome enemies right here. The ones that you, that you can't shoot them from the sides because they've got those little protector things. So there's two Metroids here. You can go up or you can go left. If you go up, you'll find a missile recharge area. But if you go left, you will find a health refill, and I kind of need the health refill a little bit more. Ow. This is actually kind of a short area. Like, this next area is, well, it's not short as much as it is, it's really straightforward. Okay, I've been recording for six minutes. Looks like I've got seven minutes to get these two Metroids and then get to the next area. The next Chozo City, that is. Now, I believe on the right, there's an Alpha Metroid. You see, and you guys thought I was bad at video games. I'm not bad at this game, it's just that when you're recording, you have to focus on talking. And if you're like me and you don't currently have a capture card for your 3DS, then you have to, like, you have to focus on the camera of sorts, and, like, make sure everything's going good over there, and then you also have to focus on playing the game well. Well, actually, you guys should be playing better than this. I mean, I'm just avoiding as much as I can so I can get through this area quickly. Alright. Wait a second. Alright, never mind. If anything, I can just do the la I can just do the last Chosen City all in one part. I just would rather not do that because well uh, I don't know. I don't feel like cutting it that close. Okay. Yeah. I'm really thankful they have a space jump in this game, because I've never played a game like that where you can just jump infinitely. But then again, most of the games that I play aren't like really like these hardcore shooter type games. I'm more into RPG games myself. Because I feel like strategizing like sometimes using less exact maybe less skill per se. But more tactics is really where I shine. Yeah. You see, like that's why I like. That's one of the reasons why I like this game is that it's a combination. Like, if you can use strategy in this game to make it pretty easy, like what I just did with those two Metroids, I stood in a very narrow area. Oh, there's your earthquake, by the way. I stood in a very narrow area. And I just spammed the B button on them. But, you know, hey, I guess there's not really that much strategy to that. It's just more of a common sense thing. Alright, we just went nine minutes. So I should be able to get to the next Chozo City. Thirteen Metroids left. So yeah, in case I didn't say this before, actually, in the time that I was gone, I I have played through this game. I didn't go all the way through, but I, okay, hold on. No, I'm going to pause it right here, and I'm going to go get the health refill, and I'll meet you right back here.
Alright, and I'm back. Sorry about that. You see, you might question why I would get the health refill when I only have like one M missing. It's because the next Metroid we're going to fight is going to be a Zeta Metroid. And even though there's only like three of those in the entire game, I still... Like, I just want to be... It's better to be safe than sorry. And I think there's some pretty strong enemies. Of course, I think the Omegas are actually easier than the Zetas, as odd as that is. Yeah, I did go ahead and look at the audio from the first part. It seemed kind of quiet, but there's... Yeah, I think it was fine. Should have made a restore point, though, at the end. Like, right before I started recording, because that's what I like to do. Because this isn't like before where I can just restore point whenever I want. I have to restore point, like, only if the recording is successful. Yeah. I have to say, my favorite enemy in this game is probably the things that come out of the wall. Like, they're these little things that look like Gary the Snail. Not this thing, not this thing. I hate that thing. That thing is annoying. And so is that. Not those, but they like, maybe they're later in the game. Those! Right there! That thing, they look like Gary, I think. You know, Gary from Spongebob. <laughs> you know, they're, they're kind of cute. You know, they're just all... They're just all minding their own business with their eyes all buggy. <laughs> Get it? Buggy? Because they're... Well, snails aren't really bugs, but... Okay, now I'm rambling. I'm sorry. So continue on this way to the left. You can just space jump your way away from these guys. Alright, and there is... The only two missile blocks in the game. You can break them with your missiles. Alright. As soon as the music changes, I'm gonna... Okay. Looks like we're officially in the next area. So, be sure to tell me how much you... Like, what you guys think about the sidebar. Yeah. No, I kind of don't like, like, the restrictions of recording with the camera, but I'm not going to be recording with the camera again, like, after this Let's Play is over for a while. Okay. Well, not like a while a while, it'll be a couple weeks, because my next Let's Play is not going to, like, my next Let's Play is not going to require one of a camera. Okay. Looks like we're officially in the next area. Six more Metroids. This area itself has seven Metroids. I refer to it as Phase 7 because it just kind of works that way. So it's Phase 7, it's got seven Metroids, there's four Missile Pods, and two Energy Tanks. That's true. Alright, so it's been three minutes, so this video is probably going to get cut soon. So I just wanted to say my name is Speed Aquadiete. Subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. I guess. And uh, favor my videos, comment, rate, and subscribe. Yeah, I'm not gonna end the video now, but like I'm gonna end it as soon as the thing stops recording. And here's our first ever Zeta Metroid. Zeta Metroids take 20 missiles to kill. I'm, 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 I'm from an alien nation The whole universe has been patiently waiting Now it's time for the invasion And we ain't even playing Got the whole world jumping Make them hands get to raising Alien nation Alien nation Alien nation